Hi, I'm Carolyn Bean with Quiltmaker Magazine. In our July-August 2015 issue, we have a delightful quilt called Forest Flyway. This was designed by Kay Gentry. It has three different fabrics, a very pale teal, pale gray, and a pale mint. And the fun thing about this quilt, it's very easily made using triangles and flying geese. You'll need to make flying geese units for this quilt. So to make flying geese, you'll take your large square, put two smaller squares in the corners, draw a diagonal line from corner to corner, sew a quarter inch on both sides of the line, and then you'll go ahead and cut right on that drawn line. So you have two units like this. Flip the patches open, you'll have two, and then place your other square, place one on both of these pieces, diagonal line down the middle, stitch on both sides, cut it apart, and you'll have four flying geese units. There's a couple different ways that you can make this triangle unit. You can use the foundation paper that's provided. You can use the templates and cut the patches and sew them together. And I'm going to show you how to use the Tri-Rex ruler to cut the A and the B templates. So first of all, here's a, gr a green strip and you're going to line up this particular ruler of the Tri-Rex pair with a three and a half inch marking on one side and the flat edge on the other side and go ahead and cut one side of the triangle. Now if you have a rotating mat, go ahead and flip it around. Otherwise, you can just flip your mat around and you'll do that to cut the other side of the triangle. And now you have two triangles. And again, what you can do is just rotate your mat, line the ruler up again, and cut two more triangles in the other direction. Each cut will give you two triangles. So this is how you cut the A triangle. Now to cut the B triangle, use the other ruler. You'll see that I've put sandpaper dots on the back side of my ruler, and that's just to keep it from slipping on the fabric. So line the ruler up, cut two sides, cut that little tip off. That's very important when you're matching the edges up. Rotate your mat, cut the other two sides. So what you have, two triangles that are mirror images of each other. And you'll need these to surround the A triangle, like this. And you'll sew them together to make this triangle unit. Once you've sewn all your triangle units in flying geese, you'll sew them into vertical rows, add the sashing, and you'll have your finished quilt top. You can find Forest Flyway in the July-August 2015 issue of Quiltmaker. Go to quiltandsewshop.com to purchase a kit using these fabrics. You can also find the backing fabric and a digital pattern. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up below, share it on social media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today.